Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we have got another TMMT. We have got the accessory set for the Secret of the Ooze that just came out with all those pre-orders. And we're going to take a look at this bad boy and see what we got going for us. Um, the box is a lot bigger than I kind of expected it to be, but that's not a bad thing. I, it's a lot more basic than I really expected. I mean, this is literally just your standard cardboard box. I mean, it looks pretty cool, though. Like, you know, big old display, but I mean, <clears throat> I've got big hands, and look at that. That thing's massive. But, quick little display of, like, some of the things that are included, you know, and uh, we don't really care about any of this stuff here. It looks really cool. Nice little piece. No way to really look at anything, though, without opening it, which is kind of disappointing. The least they could have done is given us a little flip window box, something or another, you know. But, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got. We've got a piece of tape on this side and a piece of tape on this side. Take your pick and pull it on out. All right, straight out of the box, this is what we are looking at. This is our accessory kit itself. We have got, as you can see, five different turtle heads. We have got an alternate head for Raphael, as well as his little uh, kidnapped mast uh, look there and everything. Only thing that I am kind of disappointed in with that is that, yeah, you give us that, but, I mean, like, the least you could have done is, like, you know give us the pole give us like you know this piece right here just give us like the pole and the rope too why not you know i mean that's how obviously people would want to use that face like give us a little pole with some tape but pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool let's go ahead and pull off this top cover ah oh, that does sit in there very nice too Ooh, does not even want to come up. So your set is not going nowhere. Oh, man. Yep. It pinches in on every single little piece and everything, so it's extra, extra secure. Pretty sweet. All right, let's see how we can do this here. We have got... To start here, we've got the payphone. Now, this is really sweet. We've got the payphone. Is this actually? This feels like it's actually threaded on there. That's pretty sweet. And we can hang the phone. Pretty cool. Not gonna stay on there really the way you want it without messing about and bending that around. But, oh, that's cool. Got a nice little hook spot and everything that is very, very nifty. I like that because that means you can mount that up on just about anything there. That is awesome. Makes it very easy to mount. Make a nice little piece if you wanted to put that in a sewer somewhere and just mount it. Ain't really going to hold that phone the way I want it to, but I'm sure you can mess about with it. Get it where you want it. We have got chips ripple chips now this is like a hard plastic mold which i was kind of wondering how they were going to do those but hard plastic mold mold definitely the better way we've got more potato chips we have got a mug coffee looks like we've got a mug with straw in it looks like you know probably soda of some kind We have got our little crunch chocolate bar. It looks like a bite's taken out of it too and everything. Let's see if we can get this pretty cool. Can you chew any louder? And we've got, of course, oh, are we gonna let me get these? Are you gonna be a pain? Oh, oh. it's gonna be a pain. There we go. All right, we've got our little wax on, wax off brushes. Check this out, our wax on, wax off. There we go. Pretty cool. We, of course, have got Donatello's girlfriend right here. The mop that he mops about and, uh, you know, makes out with. 
So that's pretty cool. Then we have got a nice little apron that we can put on to Mikey. Oh, we've got both the aprons there. There we go. I was thought it came with two. We've got the pink one. We've got the purple one. And these are just going to tie right around them and everything. This one's got the full body apron. Pretty cool. We'll have to put those on them. We have got ourselves a PC for all your gaming desires and needs. Looks pretty good. Let's see. And of course it does say disposed and active for the canisters there. That is pretty cool. It does not appear we get any kind of movement with it whatsoever. Oh, on the back side we've got some nice decent little detail. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. There you go. That looks super clean. That is pretty cool. I respect the detail. Alright. We have got... Oh, I don't like the fact that that's actually paper. Ninja Rap is born news article with the picture of the turtles on there. Open it up. We've actually got super blurred writing in there. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Sports section. Mainly we're here for this and everything. But this is literally just a piece of paper. And I find that to be kind of disappointing. Because that is going to be the first thing getting lost, destroyed, torn up, yada yada. All the good stuff. And uh, if I wanted that, I could have just printed that. But at least they could have done is made it, like, I don't know, cardboard or laminate or something, you know? I mean, this is literally just a piece of printed paper. Same issue with the pizza box. We have got a pizza box with four slices of pizza in it. And same as with the VHS 4-pack and everything. It comes with, like, the whole... You know, dirty pizza box look and everything, and the pizza box itself is paper. So, be careful with that. I said it before, I'll say it again. I feel like they should give us something a little bit more than that, but uh, it does look more accurate being the way that it is. Alright, then we've got a briefcase. Do you open? The handle does move. That is interesting. This does look like it opens, so let's see, do we just pull it, do we pop it, there we go, alright, there we go, that actually looks pretty nice in there, look at that, we could stuff some accessories up in there, alright, and our pins are at the latches themselves, so that is pretty cool, so these, these snap together on both sides so that's pretty cool pretty cool that is a pretty nice little briefcase pretty sweet all right we got our guitar here pretty basic pretty basic um i feel like this top half is gonna snap not the most impressed with that. I feel like I could rip these off easily. Kind of expected that. You know, not a big deal. Be a little bit more careful when you're posing it on him. But I expected that neck to be a little bit more sturdy on that. Yeah, if that snaps off, shave it down and you got a keyboard. Set it up, I guess. Let's see, let's see. We've got the hat. Gonna get on that plane now. Got a hole in the back here for the bandana to go through. And this is what my interest was. The TGRI canister here. Oh yeah, with the snappage. Oh, that's awesome. I have been waiting for a broken canister like this. The only thing that I say is a letdown is that this has to come in the accessory kit. Like, 
why couldn't you just put one in the two packs? You know what I mean? Like, and especially with it being the accessory kit, I feel like we should have gotten like some kind of like ooze like effect or something where like this just sits in a pile of green ooze or something, you know, like it has like little inserts for these to just stick out of it or something like that. Something simple, little puddle, like something, you know. Ah, uh, so you can recreate like, you know, that cover, but it's still really cool to finally have that. What is this? Bowl of popcorn. There it is. Bowl of popcorn. Just your basic bowl of popcorn. Lots of food. Lots and lots of food. Now, and then, of course, you've got Taka and Razar. Pre-mutation. And these are actually a lot bigger than I expected them to be. Pretty decent size. Let's see here. About three inches long there. Just shy of that. About two and three quarters. And then... Looking at almost four inches, two inches, like, you know, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and see if we can. Pretty nice. I feel like the head's a little bit big, or maybe it's just the angle we're at. But regardless, looks super nice. And we got things stuck to us. Put them in the light. That is pretty cool. It's a lot better than what you're getting than from like wild animal pack things. You know? Pretty cool. Now let's look at some of these heads. We've got our Raphael alternate heads here. Got more of a smile effect on him. The whole smile with the second movie, like, just doesn't do it for me. And then, more stern expression, the mouth taped up effect. Let's be honest, I feel like none of us really needed this head. I mean, we could have all taped off a mouth, like, anyway. And I feel like. We should have gotten a better raft head for the second one. So the one it came with and this one, just not perfect in my opinion. We've got the Mikey head. I actually really like this one. It's just a very basic expression for him. Most of his heads are all laughy, so it's nice to have just kind of a neutral look for him. very stern Leo. I gotta say, I feel like they really messed up putting some of these heads in the accessory pack instead of just releasing them with them. Like, see, look. It's a very smiley face. I feel like they all kind of came with smiley faces. Leo and Ra uh, Mikey did, and then Raf and Donnie both kind of came with stern expressions. And now we've got laughy faces for both of them. And, like, uh, Mikey's the only one that really needed a laughy face, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, he always has that kind of, like, happy face on him anyway. Just to show off, like we've got Donnie with his alternate head here. He does look pretty good, but he looks way too happy to really use in a lot of scenes, you know? And go ahead and give him this phone here. See if we can get him to hold it some kind of way, the way he does in the movie. Might need to change out some hands for that, but you get the gist of it here. I really like the cord they put on this phone. That is the best part, in my opinion. Finding this hard to do in this position here. Hmm. There you go. Open that hand some. So. 
see if we can get you to hold this here. This is the stuff I would normally edit out, but here we all are. Yeah, that ain't working for me. Your brain need the phone. Still, really cool accessories. And you start putting them on is where they shine. Putting them with people and everything. It's going to shine a lot better. Now, we still got all everything, basically. Fresh out of box. Haven't really messed with things, put accessories in hands or anything. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even realize that. This is literally his bow staff. It's not even a mop. It's literally his bow staff with a mop on a head on each end. That is pretty cool. I never even caught that detail in the movie before. That is nice attention to detail on their end. Especially if that is his bow staff that he uses in the movie. Because I haven't even caught that. That is pretty cool. But yeah, accessory kit here and everything. So these hats go on a lot better than the Incognito Raphaels. Like, that literally is perfect the way that it's cut will fit on their heads and everything. That's perfect. Can tie this right around them. Give them this little made outfit here. This one's got the little wrap around the head. I think this one's the one that's supposed to go on Mikey. If I recall correctly. You might need to take the heads off first. That is a bit of a tight fit. And these aren't really sewn on with the best sew work. So, I mean, you probably will rip that off if you try just forcing it over the head. So be wary of that. But this is what you're looking at there, basically. Pretty cool. Put some shit in his hand. Ninja Rap is born. That is pretty fun. But, accessory pack, guys. I think it was a mix. It really depends what you really wanted to do accessory-wise. You got a lot of random stuff. For a lot of random scenes. Um, now was it worth getting? Oh absolutely. Is it worth getting at aftermarket prices? How big of a fan are you of the movie? How much do you need to have this stuff? That's what you gotta ask, ask yourself. Because it's gonna cost you. Definitely gonna cost you. Till next time guys. Out.